Hi there, this is going to be a short tutorial on Domo Animate. Domo Animate is sort of a sister site to Go Animate, so if you know how to use this one, you'll be able to use Go Animate too, which also lets you add voice and text to speech. So if you type in something, it will say the dialogue, but not very well. It's not great text to speech. But I figured I'd start with this one because it, it's most applicable to young kids. Um, notice I've signed in here. You'll want an account before you start, and I'm going to go right here to create a new movie. And I'm going to click create. This is anima uh, Domo Animate, so it gives you all these tabs where you can add different things uh, characters, word balloons, backgrounds, props, music, and FX. This is called the stage. So this is where you drag things over, and this is the scene. Uh, timeline here. You can change from the Domo characters to cl more classic cartoon characters, which are nice, and that offers you different backgrounds as well. I'm going to use the Dunkin' Donuts because everyone knows I love that one. It's sort of Dunkin' Donuts, not quite. So I'm going to bring in some characters. I'm going to bring in this boy, and I'm going to bring in the girl. Now I want this girl to be behind the counter so I can select her and send her backward. There she is. I'll lift her up. And I'm going to flip the boy so that he's facing her. And in this first scene I'm going to have him walk in to the Dunkin' Donuts. So once I click the character, it also brings up this menu that lets you determine some actions. So look at all of those actions. Yes, fart is there too, but oh well. Um, we can have him move in. Notice it, it's making him walk off, so I needed to kind of pick the right one and move him forward. So I just wanted him to walk in in that first scene. The important thing about scenes is understanding that basically one thing happens in each scene. It's not like we think of scenes in a movie. It's basically just one action in the scene. So I'm tapping here to add a new scene. And in this scene I'll have something else happen. I'll have him say something. You can change the font, color of everything. Um, like your text here. Spell much. Okay. And I want her to answer in the next scene. No, sorry, we are out. So if I were to continue this, I might continue and make him have a reaction to this, maybe have him overreact or solve the problem. Um, it's great for depicting that kind of social um, behavior. If I want her to have a different facial expression now, maybe she can cry because they are out. But that would definitely be an overreaction, so I won't. I'll keep her neutral. When you add a couple of scenes, you can preview what you've added. Looking good. You can add music if you like. Maybe if I wanted to make this a scene where he's going to overreact and try to deal uh, with the problem, I can add suspenseful music and make it start there. You also can add things like effects, which you do by just dragging them into the scene. Like if I wanted to have it rain in scene three, which is ridiculous. That looks like hot hail or something. I could do that. And if I wanted to get rid of the effect, notice I can, can, I can click on the effect here. Sorry. And delete it. So when you're done, you're going to want to save your animation. 
You can save it as public or private, etc. You can see all of how to do that. I won't go through that because I want to keep this kind of quick. The suspenseful music continues. Thank you for watching the tutorial.